Hello, everybody out there in Mechanical Hub world. Uh, my name is John Barba with Takeo Comfort Solutions. And this is a little video to introduce you to something fairly cool that we're doing. And it's called Takeo After Dark. And I'll just show you, I'll move myself over here so you can see the, uh, see the, the, the screen. This is something we've worked on with uh, Mechanical Hub uh, to provide you guys with some information over the course of this COVID-19 business. Uh, we can't get out to do training. You guys, maybe we can't get you guys together in a group to do training. So we're really looking at a lot of different uh, avenues, online training especially. What we're going to be doing with Mechanical Hub is offering this program called Takeo After Dark. Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. It'll be a live webinar, all right? We're going to go live. You're going to have to pre-register for it. There'll be a link on the page that you're looking at. Uh, you can register for Takeo After Dark. Tune in at 7 p.m. Wednesday nights, and we're going to basically do Takeo's factory training class on hydronics. The factory training class broken up into to one 45 minute to one hour chunks. So what'll happen is we'll do the presentation, we'll entertain your questions. I'll stay on the line as long as you guys have questions. We'll talk about whatever you want to talk about, but we're going to break it into simple one hour chunks, building block chunks, starting at the beginning, which in our case is going to be uh, with basic heat loss and move all the way through boiler sizing, piping, pipe sizing, pump selection, the value of ECM circulators, et cetera. We're going to cover a wide range of topics in Takeo After Dark. So I just want to talk a little bit more about it, and I'm going to make myself go away here. There we go. And now you can kind of see what we're trying to do here. Gang, this is the new normal for the for the time being. I'm sure we've probably heard that statement enough to make us want to go crazy, but this is the new normal. Not thanks to Mr. Rogers, but thanks to that little thing underneath him, the coronavirus. Um, there's so much online stuff going on right now as manufacturers and everyone tries to find a way to better serve our customers. And that's what we're trying to do here is how can we best serve you uh, and share with you what we know and what we've seen. And uh, that's kind of how it's going to go. So we'll be doing this for the for for, you know, for the duration. Uh, we can do at least eight weeks on this pro particular program, probably more. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens after that as needed. But uh, it is the new normal. And when we think about just training in general and why we're uh, prioritizing this, I think of two things. I think first is something my father used to tell me. He used to say, hey, kid, it's what you learn after you know it all that really counts. And that's why we're doing this. Yeah, we're all pretty smart. We have a lot of experience, but there's always gaps in what we know. And there's always new ways of looking at things or different ways of looking at things that you may not have thought about. And that brings me to the second quote from Albert Einstein. Education is not the learning of facts, but it's the training of the mind to think. The real benefit of these sessions isn't going to be, hey, here's how you do this, 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 and this, although that is important. But it may all of, all of a sudden spark up a thought process in your head that you didn't have before and get you to look at something a little bit differently. Maybe the way you've been doing things has worked in the broad sense, but maybe it hasn't been the best solution for your customers. And that's kind of the way these sessions tend to play out. The more you start to think about things, the more you start to look at new ways of doing things. Maybe the reason you thought you were using a, a variable speed circulator turns out not to be the case. Maybe there are better reasons to use variable speed circulators. Or if you haven't been using them, maybe you'll come up with some, uh, some compelling reasons to incorporate them into what it is you're doing and why you're doing them. So that's really the, the value of these sessions. And in today's crazy times, it's also nice to have a sense of community. We're all going to be together for an hour or so uh, to just to know that we're all in this together. And that's very, very valuable and, very, and, and as good a reason as any to, to join us for these sessions. Some of the specifics we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, you know, what it is that makes a professional, all right? It's, it's doing pretty work like you're seeing here, but also know why you're doing what you're doing, why you're sizing that pipe that way why you're selecting these particular circulators for these particular applications. There's no such thing as one size fit all. There's no such thing as one circulator being the only one you'll ever need because it has three speeds or because you can push a button. Those are all uh, nice stories, but, but don't hold up in the, in, 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 in the case of looking at reality or the truth. So we're going to talk about doing the math. We're going to start with heat loss calculations. Our first session is going to be on simple, basic heat loss, one room of heat loss, so you know what you're doing and where those numbers come from and why they're important. 
from there, we're, we're going to go into pipe sizing. We're going to go into boiler selection. We're going to go into air control. We're going to go into pump location, pumping away versus pumping on the return. And ultimately, we'll get into proper circulator selection. How do you figure out flow and head? and a myriad of other things. We're gonna be very, very busy over the course of the next at least six to seven, maybe eight weeks, maybe longer. It depends on the popularity of these programs and really how long this goes on. Here you see some of the stuff we're gonna be talking about. Uh, basic heat loss for starters, then into sizing baseboard and radiant, and learning about cast iron radiators and EDR and what that all means. We're gonna talk about boiler selection and pipe sizing, air elimination, as we said earlier, boiler piping and pumping away. We're gonna talk about zone valves versus circulators, that age old question, which one is better, which one is right? The answer might surprise you. Then we're gonna get into sizing circulators and then the real value of ECM and variable speed. What do these things do? What do they not do? The professional really has a keen understanding. They know they're not magic, all right? There are a lot of people who tell, oh, these things are magic. That's nonsense. They're not magic. They're simple devices that do specific things and they do them very well. Self-sizing and always giving you the right flow are not things that they do. But we're going to tell you the real value and why you want to include these things in, in, your, in your offerings. We'll also talk about sizing and piping and pumping up indirects. Again, not something that's as straightforward as you might think. You got you to understand what these charts tell you and what they mean estimating fuel consumption for those who want to know it, and domestic hot water recirculation. Hey, we're washing our hands more than ever right now, right? We're going crazy with hand washing. We might as well do it the right way, all right? With hot water. Why wait for the hot water? Let's get that done the right way. So anyway, that's kind of what we're going to be doing here with uh, Takeo After Dark. We're real excited about this thing. It's kind of new. It's different. It's something that's unusual, and we're going to be doing it every Wednesday night live. The, the, the sessions will be recorded, so you can go ahead and watch them later on if you wish to. But we'd love for you to join us live Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. on Mechanical Hub and uh, and with Takeo. We'll have a lot of fun together. It's going to be great to, to, to spend that time together, to communicate with other human beings, for those of us who've been housebound. Uh, and, and know that we're all in this together. Again, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite comedians, the great Red Green, used to say, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. And, and that's just simply the truth, the way things are. So thanks again for taking a look at this brief introduction video. And I'm looking forward to see you on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Take care and be safe out there.